What's good, guys? It's your boy 21, and we back in this day with the beautiful beauty. You feel me? Got gotta juice out all the videos again. Yo, what's good? Yo, what's good? Yo, what's good, guys? It's your boy 21, boy, and it. You feel me? We back at it with another 30 video. Back with the beauty. <laughs> And we, today we talk about boot mode stage one and two. And we talking about this because I've been through it. I want to, you know, I want to, exp I want to explain the experiences I had or everything I've been through and just how one and two is different and how the last one, which is aggressive or AGG is different. I'm going to explain everything. Just going to keep it short and simple. So I hope y'all enjoy. Let's get to it. You feel me? So since we're back in this joint, you feel me? So stage one. Uh, I like stage one because I started off with it. It was the cheaper option, so I started off with it. Yeah, I will get to that in a minute. So obviously boot mode is not cheap by itself. Boot mode is $595. I'm just like, I ain't know if I wanted it. <laughs> but I see all these cool videos on it and stuff. So I'm like, yo, I have to get boot mode. Because if you ain't got boot mode, you got an F30 and you a car enthusiast, what you doing? Stage 1. Now, stage 1, it gives you like a like a 20 horsepower boost because it unlocks, it just messes with the ECU and stuff like that. Tweaks with it, you can get rid of your limiter and stuff like that. It's the same thing, like stage 1 and 2 is really similar. So it's not really like you're missing out on something, but you miss it out on something. But stage 1 and 2, the sound is very similar. You can tweak both of the sounds, like if you want pops and burbles, just like stage two, you can do all that. It's nothing different with the sound, it's just the performance. Now the performance in stage one is, like I said, you get like 20, maybe 15 extra horsepower. And that's that's nothing for like a, <laughs> that's nothing for like a $500 tune. So if you really just want the burbles and crackles, then go for it. But you definitely need to get stage two for that performance too. Cause you just can't have no, you can't just have no, um, all fart, no pull. Is what that's how people say it. Hey, y'all, come look at this. Oh, he needs some milk. Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. stage one stage one is literally you don't there's no requirements for stage one all you really need is the software everything else can be can be stock so yeah but stage two they say the only things you really need is a uh, catalyst or a catted down pipe anything other than the steps the stock one the oem one and an intercooler because obviously you're putting in there's more heat and more stuff you feel me so you need an intercooler to cool your car down so obviously, getting to stage two, all you need is those two things. Catalyst or catted down pipe and intercooler. Obviously, I got both of those things. And I got a full straight pipe <laughs> exhaust setup going on, you feel me? That's what I got. So, I mean, it cost me under, it cost me around a thousand. That's why I made that other video, which is still booming to this day. Push it to 10K, you feel me? <laughs> and that's why, that's another reason why I'm still shooting these videos. I'm like, all right, I'm on my, I'm on my grind 2020. You what did you say? I'm on my grind 2021 because 2020 it was an okay year until the last two months really went downhill and stuff like that from personally. So we just turn it up for the rest of 2021. 2021 is looking quite good so far, so I ain't complaining. Stage two, it's nothing really major. It's just you get like personally me, I got an extra 90 horsepower. I don't know if it's because I'm running more stuff. I got I had a aluminum air inlet, stage two intake, intercooler, catless downpipe, straight pipe. That's all the things I was running. So that's probably why I got a little bit more. But to my experience before I had all that stuff on it, stage one only gave me like like 20 extra horsepower. <laughs> but stage two definitely did bump it up a lot. And with um, traction control completely off, so it's making the rear wheels more dominant. Um, I definitely pushed, I definitely pushed over 350 on a sports display, even though the display is obviously a sport display and people go, oh, get the car dyno, you, no, shut the f up. 
I'm just going by what the card tells me. Obviously, to the wheel, it can be like 320 or 310 or 300. But, and people be like, oh, oh, you're, uh, what did the, they say? Um, they said something with the power delivery loss, like, over time. Yeah, obviously, it's a car. It's going to lose power. But why would I mention it? <laughs> then I also had the transmission flash, the, the sports transmission. And I had added sports plus and all that this car came with nothing i had to do everything myself the agg the extra um map you can add there's no difference <laughs> there's no difference don't buy it in my opinion i never really looked at um the numbers on horsepower but i, I just it just took my car longer to crank it just took my car much longer to start i was just like i don't really like that obviously because i was like i'm not used to that so I just switched it right back to what I had it was, like what I had it. And yeah, so the real difference is just power difference. And stage one is cheaper, stage two is more expensive, but more fun and more horsepower. This is what you bought the tune for. <laughs> but stage one is obviously just for sound and maybe just like 10, 15, 20, 30 horsepower. So if y'all did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you want. I'm not gonna force you to at the end of the day you do what you want so i'm just recommending it <laughs> subscribe to your boy if you want like the video if you enjoy and i'm gonna continue to drop bangers for y'all you feel me I'm trying to upload more and more and more get as many videos out there as possible and if y'all got any ideas y'all want to see the legendary f30 then I'll try to drop it in the time frame. And yeah, more videos on the E39 too. <laughs> Shit! New videos on the E39 coming soon. You feel me? And yeah, I'm trying to drop as many bangers as possible. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you want, subscribe. And we out there, baby. Shit!